So we are with the squib, Jason Tan. What's up? <laughs> what did you keep in your high school locker? I kept uh, my textbooks. What else did I keep? I was so boring. I think I, oh, you know what? I probably made like uh, uh, collages. I was super into collages, so I would buy like magazines and then cut out like the different letters so that they would spell, you know, things, which sounds a little serial killer-y, but uh, <laughs> I did it mostly as a design thing. Um, what else? Um, what would have made you take this with in high school? What's that? What would have made you take this with in high school? Oh gosh, I don't, everything. High school in general was great slash awful for me. You know what I mean? It was like the best and the worst of times and it's a very tumultuous experience and literally just having to show up uh, and take care of your schoolwork and like deal with uh, social issues, all of that is would be enough to make me take a swim in high school. How has this world changed from off-Broadway to on-Broadway? He's gotten more fabulous, he's got better costumes, uh, uh, more intricate costumes, um, because there's a bigger budget. Bobby Tilly is such a genius, he's cre crafting these incredible uh, looks. Um, uh, uh, the squip is um, more of like a learning computer, so the, the story is that he evolves with every single interaction that he has. He becomes more, his programming becomes more intricate because there's more feedback that he's getting from his environment. Uh, yeah, so come and check it out. And how has Be More Chill changed your life? Like you already had a fan base following, but have you seen it grow? Uh, uh, Be More Chill has, yes, I have seen my fan base grow. Uh, the, the, the fans of Be More Chill are so supportive and so enthusiastic and so generous. I feel very lucky to be telling this story and to be, uh, 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 um, you know, lifted up by all of them. Now, Be More Chill opens February 13th, the yes, day before Valentine's that's Day. That's correct. What was your favorite Valentine's Day? My favorite Valentine's Day ever? Yep. Uh, I, my favorite Valentine's Day, I feel like I go back to like third grade, you know what I mean? When you get a Valentine's from like literally everyone in the class, like I gave a Valentine to everyone in the class with all the little candies and the little hearts and everybody gave a Valentine to me and it just feels like you're like one big happy family. I feel like that's like my favorite Valentine's Day.